So in our next HTML asset example, we're going to show you how to use a HTML page instead of just text or a string table that you saw in the previous HTML asset example. So in here uh, is a HTML or is an asset, is a HTML asset that we've made. And if we open up the config, you see it's a HTML asset. We've given it a name called Trains Base. It uh, has the 3.8 or higher trains build number. We've given it the correct keyword number. That's our keyword number or my keyword number. We've got a thumbnail. Category class uh, is HTML asset. You can look at that online to find out. And uh, these two have been set like that. But you can change them if you want. String table. So in here we have some strings. Uh, we're going to take the example of the HTML help find location and map instructions. So we've got three string entries in here. One is number one is map locations. We're going to use that as a header in our HTML page. Number two is a message that says press control F to find a location on the map. And number three is press M to show map view. So let's just focus on those three for now. We'll just put that aside for a sec. And we'll close it. We can open it later. Uh, sorry. Yep, we'll close that. So in here, we have our .html page. Help underscore find underscore location map instructions. So you can name that however you like. But that is what I've named this page. And when we open it up in IE, no, we let me. No, you won't let me do that. Great. Okay. Try now. There we go. It says uh, that particular page shows this in in a, in a browser, so it doesn't really help us much. But if we uh, open this up in, I might just open it up in Notepad. Come on, Notepad. Do. We get HTML tag open, body. For those of you who don't know HTML, it's not very difficult, but you will need to find out how to use it. I'm not going to explain how to use uh, how HTML works in this tutorial, but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it, or there's plenty of stuff online to find out. So you've got HTML open and close tags, you've got a body open and close tags, and then there's a table, one table in this particular instance that has a row, and in that row there, if we break it up, there's the row, and within that row there's a cell, TD, TD, close and open, it's left aligned, and we are pulling the string table entry HTML help underscore find blah 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 map instructions one so we're t treating this as our header so if we open that up it's that one right there and it's got map locations so we're going to pull that string from the config.txt and show it in part of our HTML page which right now all it says is that in a browser, but Trains reads it differently, so browsers don't really help you with this stuff. Uh, so that's that's the header. Then we look down and we've got another row with a cell and it's left aligned still, and then it's number two. Number two says that information, because that's number two. And then number three finishes with that information. Now, because we've got it in our our HTML asset, it's going to be easy for us to manipulate the text across many, many sessions because this is something that, this is just a little bit of a snippet of information that helps people know how to find objects within the world and how to bring up map view. So we might want to use it on several occasions. So we can easily change the text once in this HTML asset. Also, we can add a, well, what we have done is we've added another row with a cell and we've said, the source is images forward slash map example dot TGA and the size of it is 256 by 256. So if we go back into here, you can see that images 
and map example we bring that up looks like that that's the map that we're using uh, that's the image we're using which is a map so that's the image we've chosen to use and that HTML page now has uh, a header which we've made bold by these little B's and then the next line shows that uh, find control F sentence and this is the press M for the map and then we show an image and that's pretty much our simple HTML asset. We're showing a bit of text that's all come from the HTML asset. We're showing an image that's come from the HTML asset and it's important to know that these have to be powers of 2. So uh, it can be 32, it can be 64, 128, 256, 512, we can go too much bigger than that but they have to be powers of 2 otherwise the image won't show correctly or it could even scale it down, I can't remember what happens but stick to powers of 2 and you'll, do, you'll be fine. So we close that, uh, no need to save. So our asset has, uh, in the config, it's got those thing, those string table entries, and then our HTML page references those string table entries, and it has an image in here that we're going to use. It has a bunch of stuff too, which uh, each of the HTML pages reference, um, but you don't have to worry about that now. We're not explaining it. Uh, and there's some sounds here as well, which are easy to use as well. So let's, uh, let's use a sound, even though it doesn't even correlate to um, the map location and structure we're going to show but for full example we'll we'll add it in there so we start trains and let's go to create a new route and we'll call it uh, whatever you want to do html uh, what is a html page example don't need anything really in the map go up to our rules We then add a message pop-up. We edit it. Then we go down to a predefined HTML page because that's what we just made. Click on that. We need to find uh, the HTML asset we were talking about. Now, it's not in there because we haven't actually put it in. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll drop in that into trains all happy. Should show up in a second. There it is. No problems. Edit. Predefined HTML page. We find our HTML trains dash base, which is what the HTML asset is. Select that and then the page is the name that we've been for the HTML page. So we click on that. You just need the name. You don't need .html. I'm pretty sure Trains adds that for you. So add that in there. Help underscore find underscore location underscore and underscore map underscore instructions and it's added the .html. So that's all you need to do to show that particular page up. If your HTML is wrong, however, it will look weird in Trains. So you need to get your HTML correct. Uh, but there's plenty of examples in trains around. You can open some of the built-in ones. You can find plenty of examples online for the HTML section of it. But again, it's not overly difficult. Trains just substitutes a few little things uh, in the HTML for uh, that are different for a website, but not not too much. You can find plenty of references. Okay, and then if we wanted to play a uh, a sound, we can go HTML wave and select the asset again that's our HTML object that we're using the asset and then you just add the name in there which is uh, let's choose this one even though it doesn't have much bearing on our HTML that we're going to show but just for instance for argument's sake we can put that in and then it has the sound file that we want to use as well and you can even tick autoplay so we will actually play that when the uh, message pops up straight away so we save that and yep let's load up the session Coupler. recklessness and damage to company property especially trains will not be tolerated you're done for the day report back to head office okay so that's just played that uh, vo that, that uh, web file which was this one here 
You have broken a coupler. Reckless. Yep, that's it. So it automatically played us a sound when that pop-up came up. And it also showed us map locations. Press uh, Control F to find locations and then press M to find the map. So it's shown that message pop-up with the HTML asset embedded in it. Uh, which is a nice way to add images uh, as reference to the materials you're talking about. So it's a little bit more than just having a string table entry, which is what this one is here, uh, embedded in a HTML asset. So instead of just having a message pop-up with a string table entry or having a message pop-up with a custom piece of text slapped straight in there, you can use HTML pages to, uh, to make a lot more interesting interaction with uh, the users of your session. Anyway, I hope uh, that helps people, and if you need more information, please let us know. Thanks.